WFNN. Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoot filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. And this was a nice little green day. In fact, you even had a nice movement up on some decent volume at the end here for the SPY trading up about 2.41%. Uh, that 531 level, the Russell Futures up about 2.53% as well. Those NQs getting pretty strong, up about 3.26%. Very nice, very nice. Dow Jones finishing up about 1.76%. Gold still doing well too, about 1.25%. Uh, then silver at 208, trading at 2750 on that contract. Let's see, Tesla doing that nice little thing that it does. Uh, still below the 200 level, uh, but that's all right. There's actually a really interesting, uh, I forget the guy's name on YouTube, but he does a really, he's just a Tesla owner and he does a really in-depth uh, review and test of its autopilot system, uh, which is actually pretty unique uh, to watch. I would recommend checking that out. I wish I could remember the name, but I'm sure if you typed in auto test, excuse me, autopilot test, it will come up. You have that dollar trading flat right now at 103.21, uh, bouncing off that 102 level and uh, nearing up the 104. We'll see if it can get up there. Uh, let's see, what else do we have going on? Well, of course you have Eli Lilly. People love that Manjaro, what can I say? That is not right. Let me get the ticker here. Perfect. Trading up 9.48%. Now that is some volume. That's a nice little gap up there as well. So let's see here, right? Thursday, that revenue coming in 13% higher than Wall Street estimates, and that's $11.3 billion for the second quarter. Jeez. That's a 36% jump in revenue from the prior year. That's largely driven by the GLP-1 drugs, Monjaro and Zepound, with a combined sales of $4.3 billion compared to the consensus of $3.2 billion. The boost in sales comes as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration took both drugs off its shortage list, signaling Lilly's supply constraints have eased. As a result, Lilly increased its full-year outlook for the second time this year, <laughs> uh, a $5 billion increase in guidance uh, since it first set the bar at $40.4 billion. You know, maybe if I'm on again this week or if I'm on next week, we'll take a look at Hims as well. They're selling their own... GLP ones. Let me see just before we gotta go. Uh, still down. Okay, we'll take a look at that at some other point. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We have Tommy O'Brien on tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, come check him out. Folks, take care.